This is Master Geo at Exotica on Saturday with the lovely Felicity Feline. How you doing, Felicity? Good, how are you? Enjoying the show? Yeah, I'm having fun. Okay, how'd you get into the adult biz? So, it was kind of an accident. I was working a car show in San Diego and this amateur company approached me and this was before I had, you know, a lot of tattoos. I had pretty much nothing. So, they offered me you know an opportunity to work for their site and I thought about it for a while and I actually wanted to buy a new motorcycle my first bike a Ninja 250 and uh, I wanted fast cash and I was working at Trader Joe's at the time and I wasn't making that much money you know and so I after a few months I was like you know what I'm gonna try it I was already doing sort of erotic modeling anyway, so it wasn't too far from getting naked on camera. <laughs> okay, so had you done like uh, nude modeling or just like bikini modeling, what? Yeah, nude modeling. Nude modeling? Yeah. All right, all right. Pretty, um, pretty risque stuff, you know. Uh, I've okay. always been somewhat of an exhibitionist, I guess, so, you know. And I was webcamming. Okay. So I was already somewhat familiar with the industry, and it was just kind of a matter of time, I think. <laughs> You know. <laughs> All right. I know you. Music is your your first and true love. How did you get into music? I uh, well, I was a really hyperactive child, and my parents threw me into possibly anything they could to exert my energy. So drumming was perfect, and uh, I was in elementary school. You know, I started playing, and I fell in love with it. You know, so I've been playing pretty much my whole life. I mean, as soon as I was able to play an instrument, you know, I started playing drums, percussion, and then uh, I got my first drum set in seventh grade, and I just uh, started to evolve as a musician, you know, but it's really the only thing I care about. <laughs> wow, what do you love most about drumming? Just, I have so much energy inside of my body, and drumming is just such a great way to get that out, you know, like, even stress, things that I'm just thinking about, I can somehow translate it into music and I, it, it's such a nice release, you know, because I'm creating art. I'm not like just running or, or just get, you know what I mean? It's turning into something. And then playing with other musicians is the best thing because it's like we're communicating on this whole different level. So. What was the first album you ever bought? Oh my god, you're not going to believe this, but it's not even what I'm into, but it was Black Eyed Peas, <laughs> Don't Funk With My Heart. For real, like I, I remember I was really young and you know, I, I never had bought an album before and I was at this like festival and they had a booth there and I, they, they sold it to me for like two bucks. Oh wow. Yeah, I'll never, I, but I wasn't even into their music. I was just like, I want to buy an album. I wanted to own something, you know what I mean? I was probably like 11, but I mean, my, my dad grew us up on classic rock, so he has tons and tons of albums at our house, you know? But yeah, that was my first album. So what was your first album that you as a fan purchased? Uh, Pink Floyd. Okay. I, the Wall, actually. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're my favorite band. You know, it's that's where like my heart is. So, uh, I mean, I'm into more heavy stuff too, but I, I really love Pink Floyd. I, I know them like inside out. You know, I, I've seen Roger Waters twice. I, I'm a huge fan. Who are your drumming influences? I have a few. Um, well, I was mentioning before Chris Adler from Lamb of God, um, Nick Mason from Pink Floyd. Uh, Phil Collins, just the fact that he can sing and drum at the same time is really, really incredible. Uh, Copeland's from The Police. Um, Billy Reimer from Dillinger Escape Plan, who actually happens to be a really close friend of mine. So that's a perk. He's, he's set up my double bass pedals before, you know. But yeah, I mean, uh, also other like drum instructors like Tommy Igo, Mike Portney, Portnoy from uh, Dream Theater. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So tell me a little bit about your DJing. How'd you get into that? So I, I learned Ableton, the music software, the digital audio software program. Uh, a couple of years ago, I got into it. And then um, this year, I started really focusing on making more you know electronic music, like dark techno, glitch hop, dubstep, trap. And then um, 
I did, you know, realize producing music is awesome, but it's so time consuming. So I thought I could start DJing and make money, you know, and I'm already a trained musician. So it was only a matter of me learning the software. So I bought a controller. Um, I got a, a DJ X, XR. It's a pretty good mixer by Pioneer. And I just started teaching myself, you know, I started taking lessons from friends and probably within a few months I'll be comfortable enough to start playing, you know, actually good shows. Where, have you DJed at any place yet? No, not, not outside like friends' houses okay. and stuff, okay. you know what I mean? Just because right, right. I, I feel like my comfort level is almost there, but I want to make sure I'm completely confident before I get into like a large venue and I'm getting paid for it. Cause you know, like I don't want to waste. Like I, I don't want to get nervous or anything like that. It, it takes a lot to get me nervous. But if I'm not confident in my playing ability with something, then I know I'm not ready to do a show like that. You know, so probably three months. You know, maybe sooner. Do you have any projects lined up? Yeah, a few. I mean, uh, by January, gonna release some dubstep and uh, the trap things we've been working on. And then uh, I'm into projects, like a heavy rock band. We're kind of like doom, stoner rock. Think like Mastodon and Caius. You know what I mean? Like that. Uh, even a little Black Sabbathy. But uh, so that, we're called Thunder Knot. And this other band, we haven't really came up with a name yet, but we play more thrashy metal a little bit. You know, but but heavy rock, like just almost like Tool meets Pantera. You know, what have you? Danny carries another drummer that I love. Okay. I meant okay. to. I don't know why I forgot that. I've met him before too. All right. Huge dude, like tall, he has this godlike presence. <laughs> what are you listening to currently? A lot. I mean, we all, we already were talking a little bit, but I mean, some of my favorite bands are. Well, Pink Floyd, like I mentioned, um, Pantera, Megadeth. I love Clutch, Lamb of God, you know. Um, also, some some instrumental metal bands like Animals as Leaders, Periphery, uh, Tesseract. And then I like, you know, a lot of desert rock like Caius and um, Mastodon. Even some smaller bands like Truck Fighters I love and Weed Eater. Yeah, so... I, really into heavy rock and metal I'd say you know but then I love electronic music too you know so does it depend on your mood as which one you're listening to or kind of I mean I can listen to metal any time of the day you know like right. even fucking Lamb of God I could just I, I could be falling asleep and I'll put that on but um, if I'm gonna be dancing you know like obviously electronic music allows me to move differently but I'd say most of the time I listen to heavy rock and metal. Yeah, you mentioned Periphery. Their new album is fucking phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, uh, they're just such talented musicians, you know, and I like the fact that they have little to no lyrics and it's just, uh, I really enjoy listening to instrumental rock because I can listen to the instruments and, and learn, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay, so what was your first tat? My first tattoo was actually this yin yang. It wasn't colored in, but it was just by itself right there. And I actually, um, in the movie Natural Born Killers, Mickey and Mallory Knox, they, ha they have the tattoo of this. And me and an ex-boyfriend on Valentine's Day decided to get matching tattoos. But I, I always wanted a yin yang, I guess, because I'm all about balance, you know, and balancing both spectrums of my personality. Which, uh, I, which actually porn has helped a lot. I'm able to get that darker character out, you know? I'm very animated as a person, so it's a... Uh, Do you have any favorite ink of yours? Yeah, I'd say probably the biomechanical piece that my ex did. Um, it was on the show Ink Master. He won our, epi our episode with that. I really like that just because it's so... It just, it just flows, you know, into the other part of my sleeve. And he put a motorcycle chain in it and a sprocket because I, I used to ride a lot. And it was a big impact on my life. But I also love the lion. 
you know, I also got that on Ink Master, and it's it's so realistic in the fox, you know. But I, it's hard to say. You have some beautiful ink. Thanks. I mean, uh, do you plan on getting more work? Uh, y yes. I mean, not. I'm working on my back right now. Like I just got, I just added this. The tool eye. Let's see, uh, it kind of just added some of this. But you see the tool eye? Yes. Yeah. So I'm just starting to work on that. I'm gonna do the upper part of my back and just have my my shoulders connect on the top. But I'm gonna keep the rest of my back open. Maybe get a little bit more on like the hips, but that's it. Like I'm not gonna touch my chest or my neck or anything. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be covered, you know, because then people sort of see you as oh tattoo girl, you know, and like I don't want to just be known for that. But and I like being a chameleon, where if I have long sleeves on, you couldn't even tell I have tattoos. Right, right. There's, it's kind of cool. And I also promised my my mom and dad that I wouldn't <laughs> touch those areas. Like I have. I've done so many crazy things that I might as well promise them that, <laughs> you know, they put up with a lot, so, yeah. All right, so um, any final words? Thank you for, for having me. Uh, where could fans find you? I'm with East Coast Talent uh, at their booth, but I'm kind of floating around. Just, oh, uh, uh, Twitter or anything if they want to follow you at? Yeah, Felicity X Feline. Okay, thank you so much, Felicity.